In this video, we'll talk about understanding self-reflection and its significance. Our everyday living and encounters do give us tons of opportunities to bask in self-love. From window shopping to looking at the mirrors, we're truly faced with countless occasions to adore ourselves and see how beautiful and amazing we are. And while it's indeed beautiful for us to see the beauty in appreciating ourselves for who we are, we should also take time to think of how splendid it would be if we can afford to invest a little time to shine an unveiling light on our consciousness and glance beyond our skin-deep presentations and outer legging-clad exteriors. Delving into the act of self-reflection is very vital when we're looking at our goals and actions, but the question is, how often do we consider self-reflection? What of our emotional well-being and gut feeling? How often do we check back in with them? What is self-reflection? Self-reflection can be simply explained to be the conscious act of taking an inward look at your emotions, performance, behaviors, and thoughts with the aim of improving and growing. Most times, we put both our personal and professional lives at a detriment when we brush aside this act to the very bottom of our to-do list. Little do we know that our aspirations for the future, gut feelings, and current goals can be aligned with our path when we take time to practice self-reflection. With self-reflection, you'll get to understand the complex relationship that exists between your goals goals and emotions, and aside from the intriguing additional insight into the complex manner it provides, it can as well help you become more satisfied in your relationships, increase your productivity at your daily tasks, be better oriented, and become more focused with work when you practice it regularly. As highlighted by Robert L. Rosen, Self-reflection has to do with imagining yourself in the future, reflecting on your interactions with others, thinking about your perceptions, assessing your strengths and failures, and questioning yourself about your values. Why you need self-reflection One can never exhaust the importance of practicing self-reflection. Whether you thirst to gain a new perspective on a situation or you're in need of guidance, self-reflection is always there to help you. It can help you realign yourself with your core values and beliefs, help you refocus, and it can as well make you take breaths to relax and then continue later. At times, looking at what makes us feel purposeful and motivated is what we need to do, rather than looking for practical solutions. This could be pretty much applicable if you're attempting something a little different, maybe planning a career switch or thinking of opting in for a change of job. This is because we can feel uplifted and enjoy more satisfactory life when we're reminded of our talents and aspirations. self reflection gives you the opportunity to make changes that are valuable and positive, as it permits you to comprehend more beyond the surface and dig deeper. Many times our heads are often rumpled up with several different emotions, feelings, and thoughts that need to be sorted and the beautiful thing about self-reflection that it lets you take back control of what you've let go of mistakenly. It helps you to be honest with yourself. It helps you to get rid of negative influences as you become more equipped to take corrective actions. And all of this depicts that self-reflection does a lot more beyond making you cognizant and conscious of your feelings, emotions, and thoughts. Another beautiful benefit of self-reflection is that it helps you become honest with yourself about what you can control, and it makes you feel at peace with what you can't control. If you've constantly felt helpless, or you've always felt that there's a massive weight on your shoulders, you may want to consider practicing self-reflection for it can help you understand that there are some things you don't have control over. And it can as well be handy in managing anxiety, depression, and stress. What you should try to avoid. Just as self-reflection can be very helpful, it can also be very harmful. For you to avoid the side effects that are likely to come with it, here are a few things that you must take note of. Don't get overwhelmed. Patience is the key when you're self-reflecting. Though it's easy to feel consumed by the need to cover anything from identity to ideals, relationships, desires, goals, and lots more. Just try to focus solely on a subject. Always remember that a single session doesn't have to cover everything you need to reflect on. Create time for other sessions to reflect on other subjects too. Shift your focus from the moments. Whenever you're practicing self-reflection, it's advisable that you focus on your positive traits and not on your success or failure moments because you're likely to arrive at needless disappointments when you analyze literal mistakes. Since you're not focusing or rewriting history and you just want to improve yourself, you should focus on traits. Don't lie to yourself. One of the costly mistakes you can make is to lie to yourself while you're self-reflecting. Do well not to lie to yourself when you're self-reflecting so that you can reap the full and proper benefits you deserve. If you're in a volatile state, don't self-reflect. Whenever you want to carry out a deep analysis like self-reflection, make sure you're conscious of the kind of state you're in. A state of depression is a good example of a volatile state, and if you self-reflect in such a state, you're likely to arrive to false views and unreasonable decisions. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.